people don't have heat pumps. They're not gonna make it. It's so hot. Eggs could fry in the pavement. No, I'm just kidding. We call it summer in Canada. We have about four or five days of it, maybe two weeks, where it's really super hot. And you can cool down with something simple like this. You don't even need a heat pump in your home. You can just freeze water bottles, empty water bottles, of whatever kind of drink you have laying around. And as the ice melts, you have cool water. And during the day, you can use it on your wrists and your neck and whatever pressure points you have to cool yourself down. We call it summer, people. There's no trend toward increased heat waves in Canada. The worst heat wave in Canada was 1936 when 1,100 people in Toronto died from the heat. It was so hot that people left their houses abandoned them, and went to sleep outside in the park. Imagine trying to do that today. So let's cut with the hysteria about heat domes and heat waves. There are risks for vulnerable people like babies, older people, and people on certain medications. But it's not a climate change crisis. It's summer in Canada. Be happy we're having a little bit of it because in another few weeks, we're going to be facing another six months of winter and minus 40. And maybe you don't know this, but there's 10 times the number of people who die from cold than from heat. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>